Um, I went and done a little bit of sparring with with him and George Groves, um, and it's just from there really we 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 clashed from from the moment I set eyes on him, didn't like him, and I never I knew that I never would like him, you know. Liam, I've got to say, mate, um, a lot of these, you know, the the the, the pre uh, the pre bout fight build up, you get a lot of you know th- boxers saying things to try, you know, whether it's to sell the show or whatever it may be. <coughs> however, however, mate. I did watch you on Sky, I think it was last night it was on, last night, I watched it after the football, and the two of you were, were, were in discussion. I mean, it's real, it's genuine, you, you actually don't like each other. No, definitely not. Um, I, I, I don't need to sell the fight because the fight is so let me, the, the fight sells itself, it's, you know, it's obviously going to be a great matchup, um, it's going to be full of action, um, you know, the players is is sold out already, so I don't need to sell the fight. But um, the dislike between myself and and Chris is is you know real. I I don't say I hate many people, but I do hate him. I can't stand the guy. Wow. Okay, tell us about the fight in in itself. When you've been training for it and your vision of how it's going to go down, what's going to happen? You think? <clears throat> I just predict um, first of all a Liam Williams win. As long as I get my hand raised, I don't care how. Um, you know, how that actually happens. But, you know, be, being the level of fight there is and, you know, the dislike between us and everything else, I think it would be nice to knock him out, wouldn't it? And I think a lot, a lot of people would like to see me do that as well. <laughs> you know, when you have this hatred for a fighter, do you have to sort of put that to one side when you step in the ring? Or does that fuel you to get the job done quicker? Yeah, when when it actually gets the fight night and you know keeping calm and you know sticking to a, a game plan yeah. and everything else, then it is very important that you put that aside. Obviously, you know you can never forget that. If um, if you get that fight to go and you get them hurt, you're going to go in for the kill. But um, yeah, you know, in the last day or two or, or whatever, you need to kind of keep them feelings, them bad feelings under control. Otherwise. It will affect your performance, and um, especially myself. I'm quite, um, I'm quite a hot-headed character. Yeah. So, um, so I need to, I need to really keep my focus and and you know stick to the plan ahead. Liam, I was going to say to me, I know he, he's been quoted. Chris is saying, he, you know, he's on the way to world titles. This, that, and the next thing, and he said it again last night when I saw it in the interview. Is he just getting slightly ahead of himself? Do you feel? Yeah, of course he is. You know. Um, I feel like I'm fighting for world titles again very soon, but I don't. I don't keep going on about that and keep saying it because I know I've got a, you know, a difficult task in front of me Saturday night, and I can't look past that because, you know, when you look past fighters and underestimate them, all the rest of it, that's when it usually comes back and bite you in the ass. You did an interview, I wanted to ask you about this in one of the newspapers where you were saying that you've worked really hard to, to get to the position that you're in now and in comparison you feel like Chris actually has, has perhaps had an easier road to where he is now. Tell us uh, about that, why you feel that way. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's um, that's just straight facts to be honest with you. Um, anybody who knows me and Chris or knows just boxing in general, you know, they will tell you that for sure obviously. I've come through, I started fighting on small hall bills, um, earning pennies next to nothing. Um, and, you know, I'm really having to graft and make a name for myself before I got signed by a good promoter and, you know, be on TV and stuff. So, um, but then obviously Chris, um, he had his, his old man who, who was a legend in the sport. And, you know, I'm actually a fan of his dad. I, I'm not his biggest fan personally. Again, the same as Chris. I think he's a bit of a I think he's a bit of a I'm being honest with you. But um, you you have to be a fan of him because you know because of his achievements and what he's done. Um, yeah, so he, he's kind of just following off the back of his own man, <clears throat> and um, he, he's definitely got into this position a lot easier than I have. Liam, I'm going to ask you, mate. Obviously, the the Motor Point Arena at the weekend will be absolutely filled to the brim uh, and the vast majority if not all the support will be for yourself how much are you going to take uh, take from that and how much will you be looking forward to that support <laughs> yeah mate it's, it's so exciting I'm uh, 
I'm absolutely buzzing on it because I've not been in a big fight in Wales for a long, long time, maybe like seven years or something. Um, and and the, even then, that wasn't this level of fight. So, um, yeah, really exciting. And um, I think probably 95% of the fans there Saturday night, they're going to be for myself. I've sold thousands of tickets myself. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be crazy. They're going to blow the roof off. Welsh fans are always the best anyway. Um, and, you know, the, the Ron the Valleys and Tonopandi is going to be empty come Saturday. Look, we wish you the best of luck. Um, it's going to be really exciting to watch. And like you say, the atmosphere there is going to be um, amazing, mad. So enjoy yourself. We wish you the best of luck again. Thanks so much for coming on and talking to us. Good luck, Jimmy. Good luck, mate. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.